Hi, I'm James, and today I'm going to show you how to make liposomal vitamin C. I'm going to skip over the details of what it is exactly, but just suffice it to say, the theory behind it is that it can be absorbed by the cells more efficiently than normal forms of vitamin C. All of this tutorial is based on information and research that I found on qualityliposomalc.com, which is not my website, so thanks to them for all of the information and research. I'm going to try and provide links for all the products that I use in this tutorial, but I haven't really done a lot of thorough research on what exactly is the best brand of C or lecithin or whatever it is that you're going to be using, so I leave that up to you to decide for yourself. Alright, so what you'll need, an ultrasonic cleaner, a blender, small kitchen scale, glass beakers, plastic wrap, and for the ingredients lecithin granules, 98% ethyl alcohol, water, and vitamin C. Here's a small chart showing the amounts of each ingredient for the recipe. On the website that I mentioned earlier, they do have variations of the recipe depending on what percentage of alcohol you use. For example, you could use vodka and they have different amounts listed out for that. All right, so here's how you do it. Step one, measure and add the water, alcohol, and vitamin C to the beaker. Ensure the ultrasonic cleaner has the recommended amount of water in it. Place the beaker in the cleaner and dissolve the vitamin C by irradiating it for about 15 minutes with the heat on until it is about 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit, stirring it periodically. Ensure the glass beaker is suspended above and does not touch the metal of the cleaner. If you don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, you can stir it on the stove. Step two, pour the mixture into the blender, add the lecithin and blend for about four minutes or until it is warm to the touch. Then put the mixture into the refrigerator and blend again once every two hours or so about five more times, ensuring it doesn't heat past 32 Celsius or about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Step three, after blending it for the final time while the mixture is still warm to the touch, put it in the ultrasonic cleaner on degas mode to help remove the bubbles from the mixture. Then you can let it cool off in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Step four, scoop off the bubbles that are now at the top and to help form more liposomes, you can irradiate the mixture now for another cumulative hour, heating it to 32 Celsius and putting it back in the refrigerator intermittently. In my case, I did two 30 minute stints of ultrasound separated by about an hour of refrigeration. Or if your machine heats it more quickly, for example, you could do four 15 minute stints separated by about an hour of cooling between each ultrasound. Well, that's about it, guys. Um, this makes about 800 milliliters of liposomal vitamin C. Uh, a tablespoon is equivalent to about three grams or 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C, and it should last you about 53 days. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and I'll definitely try to answer as fast as I can. 